February 19, 2015, the NASA JPL Dawn spacecraft was 28,000 miles from our solar system's dwarf planet called Ceres. The first time a human-made machine has been so close and gone into orbit around the little planet. Ceres is the largest body in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid debris out there is a bunch of jagged rocks. They are not spherical like Ceres. That's why astronomers put Ceres in the dwarf planet category. It is so round. The little planet is only 590 miles in diameter, not very dense, and scientists think it's about 20% water ice. So one of the dwarf planet's many mysteries is what ingredients came together at the beginning of this solar system that had enough mass to form such a small ball that even has a thin layer of water vapor around it. But the biggest mystery so far is that while approaching Ceres on February 19th at nearly 29,000 miles away, Don took images of Ceres that showed one bright glint is actually two bright spots inside a crater. In NASA animated images of revolving Ceres, the two spots still look so bright as the crater rotates into the dark side away from sunlight. There were web tweets that started asking if those were alien ET technologies lighting up the crater. Two weeks later, in the early morning of March 6th, after traveling three billion miles from Earth, Dawn's ion propulsion gently moved the spacecraft into orbit around Ceres. But instead of seeing more close-up images of those strange bright spots in the crater, there have been no more images at all. So I ask why to Mark Raymond, director of the Dawn mission and chief engineer for NASA JPL in Pasadena, California. Yeah, those two bright spots are very intriguing. The reason we haven't seen any pictures, however, is Dawn is flying high over the night side of Ceres, and so there's nothing to see. It will take until approximately May 4th or May 5th until it is looped far enough around to get its next good view of those bright spots. And then it will resume taking pictures. And in the early part of May, we'll be getting pictures with three times better resolution, that is three times sharper than the ones we have so far. Over the course of the year, Dawn will make a set of measurements, then spiral down to get closer, take more pictures and make other measurements, spiral down to be closer still, and it will keep doing that. So by the end of the year, We'll have pictures that are more than 100 times better than the ones we have right now. These spots were detected from the Hubble Space Telescope 10 years ago with its crude resolution, given how far away, just so far from Ceres, that it couldn't see a nice, sharp view. And even there, these bright spots showed up. You're talking about something that has persisted for 10 years. That's right. Hubble's vision allowed us to detect just that there was a bright feature there. When Dawn got closer, that one turned out to be two close together. I don't know what it'll look like when we get still closer. Well, this makes it even more mysterious. It does. We'll be getting pictures all year long as we go lower and lower. Each time we will be getting color pictures as well as spectra. And another thing we will do in the orbit when we're at 900 miles, we will not only take pictures looking straight down at these bright spots, but we'll take pictures at different angles to build up a stereo view so that we can determine what the topography is, how high or low are these, what's the actual shape of the crater. We're exploring a whole alien world, and certainly these bright spots are among the most intriguing features we've seen so far. But I think the most likely outcome is that whatever it is, is just some material that happens to reflect more light than the average surface material of Ceres. I don't believe many questions have come in suggesting that it's something technological or any indication of extraterrestrial life, which it certainly is not. Or maybe it will be. <laughs> you never know. I mean, that's what, true. it's a mystery. That's true. It's a mystery. So mark your calendars for the first week of May 2015 when we all should be seeing more NASA images more closely from about 8,400 miles above the Ceres crater 
that has the two bright spots. And then by the end of the year in December 2015, the Dawn spacecraft will be as low as 235 miles above the Ceres surface. That's closer than the International Space Station is to the surface of Earth. The bright spots in the crater should really be clear then. And also look for the strange hexagonal crater with six straight sides not far away. Why would Ceres have a crater with six straight sides like the hexagon patterns in a beehive's honeycomb? For more information about Ceres and other mysteries in our solar system, please go to earthfiles.com.